Hey guys, what's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, today I am doing a little bit of a, a different video that I do once in a while about watches that I do love and buy. Uh, it's not really review, just uh, share with you my happiness. So this is not a fragrance review. If you're looking for one, um, maybe you can skip the video. This I'm doing for people who love watches and you know have similar taste. Um, I am again once again not a watch enthusiast. I'm a collector, and I am kind of like this is like a hobby for me. Okay, it's more like I like to collect, but I don't have the Rolex, you know, or you know, AP sort of uh, budget. Of course, majority of the world doesn't have that. That's for really rich people. And with you know, if you have the money, you can go for them because those are you know Bentleys and let's say what else like uh, expensive cars of the world, right? So uh, I have actually purchased two watches uh, yesterday or last night, and I actually could not resist that I actually got the other Casio, which is the tribute or homage to the PRX Tiffany Blue. I previously had this one I have shown you uh, two days back, uh, the bigger dial. Um, I left the link below. I can leave the link below. You can buy from Bangladesh. But the model number sometimes I am not very good at because Casio's numbers are very uh, long. So I'm going to talk about the small dial one, why I got it, and also the watch I'm wearing right now. This one I have opened the link. Let me talk about this first. The uh, the watch uh, model is called Casio Analog MTP 1375D3AV. Okay, so this uh, I think is not the exact color, but you can look. I mean, there are different colors of this watch. And uh, the one that I'm wearing, I think is like a beautiful, I don't know what color is this, but it really caught my eye. Kind of, it looks like a very expensive watch, but it's not, it's under hundred bucks, okay? So these watches, you know, my uh, go-to guys are Casio, MSI International in Bangladesh. So they're authorized dealers since like seventies, okay? Uh, in Bangladesh, an uncle who owns this business, uh, he owns many shops, many businesses. And this is one of his uh, like uh, baby project or, uh, brain child or something like that so he started the first time in bangladesh watch business and now many people buy whole, wholesale and stuff so i started collecting like three four years back uh, and i started off mostly i had few watches like swatch some seiko i had uh, a few other watches that i really like uh, i was very happy with them i started collecting from this watch okay i think it's, i forgot the model name but this is one of the best homage for me of the rolex you know submariner so this one I got from one of the brothers, the automatic. So this was my beginning, okay, as a watch lover. But uh, as time progressed, I noticed one thing that there are many other affordable op options in, in the market. And, uh, you know, you can buy Seiko's, Orient's, you know, they also offer good value. So that's how I got into the game. Now I have about 60, 70 watches. So uh, coming back to this, a few days back, if you followed my video, I did tell you I was very crazy for this uh, especially this Tiffany blue or the baby blue, whatever this color is. And these are very hard to find models. The one that I reviewed, I talked about the version that I thought this was, is not that it was the MTV version, which was the first um, pink, uh, yeah, that, that color, you know. So uh, PRX is <clears throat> the Tiffany blue color. This is the second and new version. I haven't seen any review on this one. Uh, I forgot the note, like not notes, the model of it, I'll write down. So when I had that, I did tell you, I did not feel the small one was needed, didn't suit my uh, wrist. And I went for the other color they had, which was this. This is definitely a better color. It's more gorgeous. The sunburst effect is beautiful. I love it. No doubt I love it. It looks great on my wrist uh, because I have this darker complexion. So the colors pop better. So this color, it sort of like did not work for me, but the bigger dial did. So I thought very happy with these two but something happened so i ended up getting this and mm, don't ask this thing is a like <laughs> the addiction is very bad so now i'm very happy very happy uh, i'll talk about it second let me show you this one that i just mentioned the model this thing it is regal let me take out it is one wonderful beautiful watch if i could take it in the sunlight you could tell and i have a thing for blue and i don't know what blue this is people who are watch experts please do let others know it is a little bit dark a um, little bit like a sky blue, a little bit of a, I don't know, watercolor, okay? It looks like the ocean, perhaps depth, that the, the dial has depth. And then my first priority to buy watches nowadays is the dial. I'm not enthusiastic about, uh, say, like automatic watches because they take time and effort to adjust and all that, you know, set the time, power reserve. These are uh, like run by 
the what you call the batteries right so these are not automatic so it looks really beautiful and i do love this chain everything is just beautiful i cannot complain anything about this because this price point you get kind of like a click clasp i don't know yeah that's what they are and they are not the highest quality but from casio these are good quality nice brush finish nothing looks bad this looks just great on its own so watch enthusiast perhaps will get like a leather strap or nato perhaps they like it better i like it with this so the price on these are hundred dollars and i haven't seen many reviews on this okay this is every day great if you go out i mean i would consider as a high class watch okay because it looks so much more expensive it looks like it has diamonds and stuff especially because of the basil i think yeah basil has this pattern and i have a few months back i bought this and it's the same line i have this other watch from mtp uh this line and they it has this uh kind of like a silver also good uh, dial and i had this on like they had this on um leather strap i changed it to uh, i love uh, this kind of links they look nicer on me and i enjoy wearing them so this i think is from the same line but just because of keep it here just because of the dial color prices vary this i paid more but luckily i paid under 100 bucks this was more like 120 but because of the chain or the shipment something but i love this so much more i mean both are great both are great and somewhat they give like a rolex feel i don't know why so happy when i put it on it has a little bit of a loom but i don't think it's anything great but you know nothing much to complain and i think all the hands work you know all of them inside good functionality so this one you can wear for parties this is going to definitely be something that people be attracted to they'll look at your wrist and then this watch will really stand out okay so yeah beautiful color so that is the first one <clears throat> So but I'm not wearing this for a very long time. After maybe a few months of wearing, then it will show a tear and wear, or maybe if it's gonna get, uh, say, scratches. I don't think these are these are mineral crystals. I think they're never gonna put like a sapphire crystal at this price point. But for what you pay, I think this is a great watch. I give it ten out of ten. Great watch. Okay. So the next one I'll talk about. I have to take it out from here. Is the small, uh, the Tiffany blue. The prx inspired one so casio prx let's just call it that otherwise it gets complicated and i'm going to take out both <clears throat> okay i'm not going to keep it in the box because it's like the box is a little bit scary so let's keep it the big one because i already talked about it and i really love this this one people uh, i went to a shop one of the shop owners he grabbed my wrist he's like can i see the watch brother he sells watches he took a picture and the model number he ordered for him okay this thing is lovely just lovely so let's keep them here as three brothers okay so when i had this and i did have the other one let me put it on again okay this thing made me very happy i mean this watch it looks just great on me okay and not everything looks great and i did feel this one is a great choice if i already have this you don't need maybe a smaller uh, watch which has tiffany blue because it looks little bit girly with the tiffany blue that's what i felt i was very happy this is very masculine manly but uh, i was i cannot stop thinking about this <laughs> the small wrist like a small watch you know like the tiffany blue i could not stop thinking about it so i went to shop to pick up this watch because the guy who's selling it uh the brother in the shop he's a friend of mine now he said brother i have this do you want to buy this i immediately ran to get uber and then i went to the shop i thought all of the other prx models like uh these models are sold out but they had one piece and i was like hmm i really like the chain i told you all the same thing as the dark blue dial but this caught my eye i know it's a little bit uh, two things are could be hmm, like not masculine the most masculine this looks more like a lady kind of watch i don't want to distinguish or say uh prejudice against anything but it looks um, it is going to look really beautiful on ladies i believe okay but i was just greedy second thing is some people said i tried it on my wrist if you have a big wrist this is gonna, not going to be that present like when you wear this or this other one they have a lot more presence on your wrist compared to the small dial so let's say you see it from far some people like small dials and the prx one good thing is it's a little bit more macho than this okay that one has a little bigger size if these are 35 so uh, what happens is they look sophisticated okay they look good 
this thing has more presence than this on my wrist but uh, this is for people who love the tiffany blue color it does not have that great sunburst effect it's a little bit off kind of like a baby blue and then turquoise and then the tiffany blue color mm, i think it's a good watch but it provides you with less options like if you're wearing this in the office maybe people will not take you seriously <laughs> i don't know it's just a feeling when you wear this people it's like a depth of the ah, man i'm trying to use terms that is not used on watch but uh this watch actually means more authority more power dark depth so people may take you business wise or formal wise more um seriously even if you were the bigger one it looks better i mean when i wear side by side i'll show you what i mean okay so the <clears throat> quality wise the bigger one doesn't have better quality the bigger one has better presence looks nice but the chain of the link they use this is very cheap and sometimes it's a bit loose i made it a little bit more um better grip today by bending it from the shop so uh, it's now not going to take off very easily but this clasp or the belt it's very very cheap quality compared to that casio's this link i think this is better okay for casio and also this uh, lock locking mechanism with that and the click you know it just open so it's better overall build quality of this is better this is why this line is more expensive than this but i'll tell you if you can find both collect both because you you're gonna feel i'm gonna wear sometimes a smaller one sometimes a bigger one and i'm just happy i got both okay maybe they don't look that great on my wrist but great watches so overall uh, if i want to finish the video not making too long uh, these are all uh, very subjective okay some people say the casios you know sometimes they come in this kind of boxes bigger boxes more premium casio for them is not just worth it people say save up your money uh, instead of buying 10 buy one great watch like a branded watch but what i notice yes you get more value you get better build quality you get swiss made movements and stuff and some of the watches definitely i know they're gonna serve you better over the years these things gonna last not as much okay but the happiness wise these watches make me happy uh, this is definitely if you have these prx for a difference of 400 500 bucks between casio and prx man i think <clears throat> these are absolute value even though they're not better watches but look at the dials i mean look at them just look at these they have so much uh, to offer for the price and it's a brand if you buy the homage from china or some of the countries sometimes i heard their mechanism is not good sometimes when you uh, see the second you know so they're not very accurate like the second hand it will not be very accurate they'll be like somewhere in between and sometimes they will i don't know you have to, when you rotate they don't want to move so they have some production uh quality uh not deficiency but you know some uh how to say weaknesses or flaws which I did not find that much in Casio. I am going to do a Casio episode one day. And since my childhood, I did wear Casios, you know, the very basic ones. So it has heritage. Casio is a great brand. They're offering so much more, bigger dials, smaller dials, even they're copying Apple watches. So uh, I'm a big fan, especially, I will just not going to be shy and admit it that they're affordable. Okay, so if you have a thing for watches, uh, and if you have a hobby, you can collect so much watches, so many more watches, you can get into G-Shocks, you can get into Solar, Tough Solars, you can get into something like Sporty Everyday Wear. Great, great watches they offer. So I feel uh, my two cents are, they are worth it. Definitely, I will say with full confidence, they make me happy. Uh, this is a gift to myself, okay? I I am very spoiled, I know, but uh, under 100 bucks, these are totally worth it. And I feel uh, these are reasons why they get very, very rare. And sometimes the people ask for $300, $400 on Amazon, you know? because people really want them so get them at best price get them from a regular like original seller and also do not overpay like if this watch is people asking for 200 300 bucks i mean yeah we do that with fragrance game like some of the perfumes when this offer for 50 bucks we don't buy this continuation happens people ask for 300 bucks we buy uh, so we have that problem but end of the day this and this watch that i bought today are 100 percent 10 out of 10 love it do let me know what you think about this especially this dial is my favorite it's just a stunning stunning blue okay thank you so much it looks like panda by the way the, the eyes uh, have a nice day thanks for watching love you all and i'll leave a link below in bangladesh if you are you can buy these from maybe these shops uh, they have good prices okay take care good night from dhaka bangladesh Bye bye